Everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be giving a Godzilla 2019 tutorial. As you can see on the bottom of your screen, I am currently maxing Godzilla 2019. So, um, it could be thankful if you guys wish me luck because this guy's going to take a little while to max. So, um, if you guys can just go down there and smash that like and subscribe button, um, that would be really great. And hopefully I'll max this guy soon to make videos with him. I might even main him after I max him. I never know. So, um, yeah, let's get on to the video. So, what I normally like to do when I get in here is that let's say I just spawned right here. When I, when I spawn, I immediately put on control lock. And I go into the city. I charge my Empyrean radiation. I'll show you guys why you need to charge this thing in a second. Also, guys, I found out how to do my um, giveaways a lot easier in the Game Pass section because you can apparently gift Game Passes now to people. So, um, I'll probably be, do be doing a giveaway in a couple weeks, so, um, or maybe sooner, actually. I'm not really knowing what um, the giveaway is going to be about. But, so, yes. But I'll, up you I'll update you guys on that later. Now, anyways... As you can see, my Empyrean Radiation... Actually, if I just slap a tree right here for real quick. See, my Empyrean... Anything you hit that, like, does damage or does G-cells or anything, it'll immediately charge up. Now, see? 80 out of 80. Now, I'm going to show you why. Because... This move actually heals you. And you can do it while in combat, if you have low health or something. And it heals extremely fast. Like, every time I've healed in a combat fight, I've literally always won just because I did that. So definitely use the V move once your um, Imperial Radiation is at least above 50 charge. 50 out of 80 charge, at least. So, um, yeah. Now on to the melee attacks. Every single move here has a use to it, except the roars. The roars aren't really a problem. The roars are just to look cool and everything, like... Oh, my animation's not loading in. It does this to me on a private server, so, yeah. Anyways, um, so, when you're first off starting to fight someone, I suggest, um, falling back first. If they come a little closer to you, hit the second attack, which is the tail, and try to rotate as much as, much as you can to get the tip of the tail to hit your opponent. It works for me, like, most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. But, hey, you never know. Anyways, now next, charge at them. You can charge them to get extra damage, um, hit the tail attack, then hit your claw. I would save the beam for last because whenever I beam, when I, when I have full energy, it, only, it takes me down to 20 charge, which is not really good for using in combat. So definitely not start off with the beam in combat. What I normally like to do is um, just start in combat like this, rush up to my opponent, hit them with the tail, and hit them with like basically all my melee attacks. Then, once you're done there, you can um, go ahead and weaken the opponent with your atomic breath. So, yeah. Now... I'm going to charge my Empyrean Radiation to um, show you guys the um, fourth attack, or no, fifth attack, sorry. I think it has to be at least above 30. Oh, wait, nope, it just needs to be above 20 charge. Now, the five attack, it's also really useful, but only if they're standing near you. Like, let's say um, there's, a mech, there's a dumb Mechagodzilla standing in front of me, and he's just hitting me with melee attacks while standing there. I can literally just hit this attack right here, and it'll literally do tons of damage to him. Then, once I'm done with that, I can just go ahead and hit melee attacks, and then boom, he'd be dead. So basically, that's just all my um, tips for Godzilla 2019. I'm gonna, uh, I need to be off in a little bit, but um, I'll let you guys know when I max him. I'm gonna um, work on maxing him a little bit, so I might not upload for a while. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.